Welcome YouTubers and welcome to another video and um, hopefully, oh no you can't hear me and something not quite right with the picture either. I'll tell you what, let's get a bit closer. Okay, so now hopefully you can hear me because if I've got my onboard microphones on my camera and now you can see my ugly mush and oh it's all, all over the place. Uh, let's get this sound sorted out, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so hopefully now we've got the sound sorted out. Yep, you can hear me now. Um, oh, the video quality is still a bit... Hello, can you see me? Uh, Alexa, turn the lights on. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Welcome, YouTubers, and welcome to my review on cheap microphones. And uh, some of the astute out there amongst you would have noticed exactly what I was doing there. Yes, I was trying to prove a point. The point is that sound is extremely important to any of your videos, be it for YouTube, be it professional, or just for fun. And um, what I was showing there hopefully was that people will put on um, and be quite happy to live with some bad video quality as long as they can hear you. So hopefully now with the sound and the video quality readjusted for you, uh, we can continue this video. So this is all about cheap microphones. Um, do you need to really go out there and spend a fortune on microphones for your camera, for your um, presentations that you're doing? Uh, you may be a gaming YouTuber or anyone like that, or maybe just doing this for fun. You know, do you want to go and spend thousands on Sennheisers or you know hundreds on Rhodes, or do the cheaper versions actually work? So what I'm doing now is I'm actually recording using a boom microphone and my Movo VXR100 and this is the focus of the review. I've been using this microphone, it's a shotgun microphone, it comes in around the 60 to 70 pound or dollar range, the boom stand is about 30 to 40 pounds or dollars, so you're looking just a shade over 100 pounds or dollars and I think it is cracking price for the money, especially when we get into the review of the microphone and I show you just what comes with it. So, as with all microphones, um, some of you may not be aware, but you know, it doesn't matter how much you spend, microphones work on distance. It's a, a game of diminishing returns. The further away you get from the microphone, let me show you, so as I walk around the camera and away from the microphone, you'll see that the quality and the sound will actually diminish as I walk around. So, come back in again. So you can have the most expensive microphone that you want, but if you've got it placed 10 to 15 feet away, then you've still got the same problem. You cannot be heard and the quality is not good. So what people then tend to do is they try to turn up the gain or the amplification of the microphone. And that is then when the really expensive microphones come in because they have internal noise and baffling and really, really good electronics and allow you to do that. But you don't really want to be doing that in the first place. A good cheap microphone like so that I've got placed up here in the right position will work wonders for you. Um, especially if you can plug it directly into your video camera or directly into your computer using the simple three and a half uh, pin jack into your microphone port on there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to break this down now and um, should give you the review on the uh, Movo VX100 uh, and show you why I think it's such a great little tool, cheap, simple setup, you don't need to spend hundreds or thousands of pounds. Now as always with all of my videos on IT Tech is that all of the equipment that I'm using from the camera I'm recording on now to the stand and of course the microphone, I will put links down in the video descriptions. I'll also put some alternatives down there because of some people do like to use the things like the roads and all of those types of microphones. I'll leave those links down there. But ultimately, hopefully you can see what a great piece of kit this is. Um, and of course the links down there are Amazon affiliates so I get a bit of kickback so if you do um, click those links it obviously it helps the channel out massively. So we'll go into the VX100 uh, from Movo, we'll do the view, um, unboxing of it, show you what's in it, why I think it's so good and obviously you will see and hear from the video quality at the moment, I think it's amazing. Okay, so here we are with the uh, Movo VXR100, and this is the beautiful little box it comes in. And you can pick these up um, at 60 to 70 pounds or dollars on Amazon, link down below. Um, we'll just turn the back of the box over and uh, have a let you freeze frame on those parts if you want to. 
nicely, nicely packaged on here. Now this is a shotgun microphone. So it's a condenser and it's a super cardioid, uh, cardioid uh, which basically means it is going to pick up in the direction, forward direction only, and cancels out noise from the sides and from the back. So it's ideal for interview side of things or recording on top of your YouTube videos or anything like that as well. So uh, yeah, so um, this microphone is a mono microphone, um, which is absolutely perfect for voice and the sort of thing that you want to do on that. Anyway, without that, let's get straight into it all and open this box up. Now this box, the amount of kit you get in this box is just unbelievable. Um, it's all beautifully packaged up, absolutely superb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the pieces out and just show you what you get in there. It's beautifully packaged up, uh, nice foam on there. We've got a nice instruction manual. Uh, nobody looks at them, do we? Uh, so let's just go straight into the meats of it all and take a look at the actual microphone itself. And there we have, this is the condenser uh, shotgun microphone. Um, and it's inside this um, shock housing. So the shock housing is fairly rudimentary um, and we just slide out the microphone here and just so you can see what it is. It's just a cage um, and the cage itself has just got some rubber bands on there and basically that stops the noise of you moving around and it bouncing on your mic on your camera or however you've got it mounted and it stops that interference of unwanted sound in there. It works very well, I find it's quite good. And what they do also supply is they supply you with some additional rubbers there in case these break. And you simply just slide your microphone straight into that. Let's take a look at the microphone itself. It's made out of sort of plasticky. Um, yeah, it's not going to um, handle abuse very well if you're throwing it around the place. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you're looking at the price on this. And it's just like any old typical shotgun microphone. Now the nice thing about this is that this microphone is full XI, XLR, the free pin input. So you can plug this microphone directly into external recorders or even yeah, more professional equipment like that through this pin on here. Which also means that it can and does take phantom power as well. So external power through that uh, XLR uh, input on there. But the nice thing about this microphone as well is if we just unscrew it here and take a look inside, what you'll see is that I'll actually take a AA battery for power. Um, and they even supply you one. Just slot it in like so, put it back. Uh, that bit's metal, that bit's definitely metal. I think it's sort of like a cheapish metal surround on there. And then what we have then is we have the power switch. So if we pull it up one, We'll see that the green light goes on and then we've got a high pass filter as well because you push it all the way up so switched on with a high pass filter and that gets around it gets to help get rid of some of those background noises um, in those higher frequencies uh, and quite useful for me because i have my computers in the background and it does hum a little bit and you know it does really work and help cancel that out now you do obviously have to remember to un unpower it but this battery in here lasts ages ages a good 20 30 40 hour uh, yeah same battery i've not run out yet at all on there so very very nice um, construction and we take a look in there and we can see that it's collecting the sound from the front um very 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 nice construction and then literally you just slot it in so uh, i'll just slot it into the cage here and put it in one side and in the other side of the cage uh, and there you go and now we're all set up, and then we're all set up there for shock proofing. So you can see how that sort of bounces around there, and it's very good at shock proofing. Also comes with a cold shoe adapter, so that you can connect it directly onto your video camera if you want, or you can connect it up to any equipment that's got a hot shoe. So this basically just slots in with nice screws on there. You can actually take this off, as well so now you've got a standard um, connector on there so if your microphone stand comes with um, your microphone stand comes with an adapter like so so microphone stand which I'll also link you see me using comes with this adapter um, it's got a wider and a thinner uh, connector on there this one just simply connects in like so and now I can connect that up to my mic boom quite happily. So that's really nice, but yeah, that comes with the microphone stand 
uh, the boom stand, which I'll show you. So we've got our hot shoe adapter on there. Now the nice thing about the hot shoe adapter is it also has a small thread in the bottom, so it will take a standard, um, it will take a standard uh, tripod screw in that. So you can even connect that into there like so. Obviously, I'm used to using a cheap, nasty one. Connect that up to your microphone, and now you've got a desk-mounted solution. So pretty awesome. Uh, I, I like that. They thought about everything on that, so that connects in like so. What they also supply you with inside the box is that they also give you a mic stand as well. So that's your typical static mic stand, which you can then just connect up like so. So that's free in the box. And again, with the standard adapters on the bottom. Um, and of course, this will also move backwards and forwards beautifully. So that's free in the box as well. What else do they give you in the box? In the box, you also then have a muffler to go over the end. So that helps reduce popping voice pops when you're getting too close to the microphone, quite handy. Something that most people don't, uh, most microphone manufacturers don't give you, they give you a dead cat for those windy conditions outside. Absolutely, yeah, that's free. They've thrown it into the box for you. It's like a Christmas present, this box is, it's amazing. So that comes in, I'll see that goes over, I'll leave some pictures and you can see how that all works. So that's free in the box as well. What else do they give you? Well, you've also got, and if we just dive a little bit further into the box, they also give you quite a sturdy metal, um, a nice um, foamy grip on here, that you can actually then just screw that into the bottom, like so. And now you've got a handheld mic. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it, this, this box just keeps giving. Awesome, awesome. So um, yeah, you've got most scenarios covered now. Not only can you shotgun mic it on top of your, on top of your camera, you can boom mic it and do whatever you want with it, and you can also handhold mic it, or you can tripod uh, mic it. It's yeah, this is, and that's even got an adapter in the bottom, so you could put that onto a tripod if you wanted to do it. it the possibilities are endless with this, but it doesn't stop there. <laughs> it seriously doesn't, and uh, this is why I love this kit so much. Remember we said it was XLR input and output on it. Well, here we have an XLR into a three and a half pin, which obviously allows you to connect it directly up to your camera. So um, I've shown some pictures, you've seen the pictures there, I've got the XLR into and then into the camera input if you've got uh, mic input into your camera or into your computer. Awesome. It's a bit short that lead though, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on, they thought of that as well. You're not going to believe this. This is a 15 meter XLR extension. So what I do is I connect this up on my uh, boom stand, connect it up, I've got 15 meters of cable, and then I connect this end and attach it into my camera mic port on there. All solutions, or I could put it straight into my computer if I wanted to. 15 meters of it. It's not the best quality XLR cable, and uh, yeah, but it's free, it's great. This is all included in it. And they also give you a shorter male to female XLR as well. So that if you're actually got this shotgun mic on top of your camera and then you have an external recording device like the Zoom H4 or something like that, bang, bang, and you're in. Nice short little cable like that. Um, is there any more in the box? Uh, yes, just one more thing. They even give you a three and a half mil to I think it's 6.3 mil adapter as well. What more could you want? Yeah, it's it's amazing what they've put into this box. And like I said, all of it for the price. You know, the price point is 60 to $70. And the microphone, the quality of the microphone. Um, well, at the moment, I'm recording on my, uh, on my mobile phone here because obviously this isn't plugged in. But yeah, it is pretty amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how now I've got it all set up and we will also talk about how I've, I've played around with this in the field on top of my Sony AX53, uh, which I'm recording on at the moment. We'll show you some footage and then we'll do some conclusions on it all. Okay, so this is a quick uh, video test. Yeah, I'm stood about three foot away from the camera at the moment. We've got some road noise going on behind me. So if you just follow me around, please, Abby, just follow me. So you can't obviously hear me or anything. I'm just walking around. We've got some wind. You know, have a look at the lake. You know, and uh, I'm just off to the side here. So you know, I don't know whether or not you can hear me. No microphone. This is just purely using the onboard mic. If I get closer, you can listen. I'm on the onboard microphone here. You can probably pick me up a bit now. We've got a car coming past now. Yeah, you need to
tell the difference. Okay, so this time we're a few feet away from the microphone. We've got it set up as a shotgun on top of the Sony AX53. Uh, it's very windy, we've got road traffic going around, and you can see where the difference here is, hopefully. And what we're going to do is also just to show you the setup of it, is we'll just take a quick picture of Abby so she can stay, stay, stay still, Abby. And we'll just quick picture. So you can see that the setup we've got there. Um, as the traffic disappears, it gets a little bit better. And if I walk away, you probably can't hear me now. So you stay still, Abby, you're not walking away. We can see the problems we get now. It is really difficult. Okay, so this time, still noisy, still windy. This time now, we've got the dead cat over the top of the microphone. So hopefully that's taking down some of the wind noise. If I move backwards though, you're still probably fine. You can't hear me very well. We've still got a problem with this and it's not working very well. It's just the sound quality. It's because the distance I am away from the microphone that causes the problem. Okay, so this time now, hopefully you can hear me. I can wander around. I'm actually now about 10 foot away from the camera. What's causing this? What's happening? Well, it's because I've got it set up like so. On 15 meter cable, uh, we've got road noise. I've got the, uh, the dead cat on the top of it. And hopefully now, because this is directional, it's picking my voice up more than everything else. It's not going to be ideal or perfect, but it just gives you the endless possibilities. Of course, you can have this out of shot of the camera. So if I hold it up here, um, and then perhaps then it's still you can hear me talking and everything's okay on that. So this really does give you the benefit. You know, you've got an external microphone uh, connected to your video camera. There's no way possible that that video camera could even pick up my sound from, it, from this distance. So hopefully it shows you the benefit and the power. And this is just a cheap microphone. It's a $60, 60 quid microphone. Okay, so we're back inside and that was windy and really, really noisy. And hopefully you'll see there the differences that uh, having it as a shotgun versus the onboard microphone on your camera versus having it wired. It's such a difference. It really does make a difference on how close that microphone is to your subject. Now, at this stage here, I am actually using this in a shotgun configuration directly on top of the camera. Now, I don't normally record like this and it... I'm, I don't know what the sound quality is going to sound like and throughout the whole of this video I've left the audio levels in their default so you can tell what's going on. So um, that's not normally how I do it. Um, normally what I would do is I would boom mic it um, and take it out of that configuration and put it up on a boom mic that way then I can have complete control over it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to set that up and just show you how quick that is. Probably do a bit of a quick time lapse montage and show you how that works. So hopefully there you saw a little bit of a time lapse of me messing around, getting it all sorted out, but it's fairly simple. 15 meter cable, XLR extension into the camera, boom mic all set up now. And this is the way I prefer to do it. And I use this for outdoor shots um, when I'm doing my reviews and internal reviews. So what do we think of the uh, Movo uh, VXR100? So that's the Movo VRX100 and as you can tell I really do like this microphone for what you get in the box it's just brilliant value. Yeah, you, know, you can go and spend 2 300 many many more thousands of pounds on microphones if you really want to but you really do not need it. If you get proper positioning of your microphone as we've shown um, if you set it up properly um, you can produce some really really good audio quality um, results out of it. Now there are a couple of things I don't like about it. It doesn't have a dB gain level on the microphone but again you can get around that with proper placement of the microphone. It is a bit flimsy, it's a sort of plasticky, metal-y. It's not going to take abuse but you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be bashing these microphones around. If you do it's cheap to replace. Even if you do upgrade a microphone, the stuff you get in the box is amazing. Now some of you will like the Rode type uh, microphones out there, and you can go and get them. You've got the Rode Go, the Go uh, Pro, the Pro Plus. Um, there you're running anywhere between 100 to 300 pounds of dollars. Um, they will even sell them to you in packages where you can get a boom mic, etc., with all the cables and that lot. By all means, check the links down below. I will leave them down below for you to have a look at as well. Do your usual due diligence. Go and have a look at the YouTube videos and uh, reviews on them. I've seen quite a few as well, and my experience as well is, you know what? Use a microphone, a cheap one, 
Um, as long as it's a good quality G1 and you use it in the right manner, you're hardly going to notice the difference, especially on YouTube. So hopefully I've said enough about the uh, Movo VRX100. So uh, we'll leave it there. Uh, if you like this channel, please give me the big thumbs up, subscribe or the thumbs down. Anything like that will really, really, really help me out with the channel and help keep it going on there. And just one final thing. Come here, Abby. Come on. Thank you very much, Abby, for helping me out today with the video. It was freezing cold out there, but yeah, hopefully it was useful for you to show you the benefits and how to use microphones as well. So see you next time. Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.